The Bernese Mountain Dog is an absolutely incredible breed that was first bred as a working dog in Switzerland. They are intelligent dogs with a friendly and gentle personality. Although they're a very popular breed in the world, they're not the right breed for everybody. The Bernese Mountain Dog, like with all breeds, have many traits that you need to consider if you're looking to add one of these strong and powerful dogs into your home. So, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the positives and negatives to the breed to help you make the right decision. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bernese Mountain Dog, then how to become high level canine leaders that raise the perfect Bernese dogs. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bernese Mountain Dog video. Right, let's dive into today's video where I'll be sharing a few of the pros and cons of the incredible Bernese Mountain Dog. So, as I already mentioned, the Bernese Mountain Dog is a very loving dog with a gentle, careful nature. This is a massive positive about this breed as they can make amazing family pets and companions and they're especially good with children of all ages. This is a quality that they are well renowned for and commonly become a close companion to the children in the family. The Bernese is widely known for its kind, sweet and rather docile nature. Obviously, as with all dog breeds, you must socialise and train your pup properly from a young age in order to have a well-balanced dog that gets along with all. Socialisation is key if you are bringing your dog into a relatively busy household where there's new people coming around and other animals. Sadly, the Bernese Mountain Dog has a relatively short lifespan which ranges from only 6 to 10 years. As with all dog breeds, they can be more prone to particular health conditions which is incredibly important to be aware of before bringing your Bernese into your home. For this breed, you should expect to see health clearances from the breeder which have been completed by a certified scheme. There are many health tests available in order to understand potential risks and the level of said risks, including hip and elbow dysplasia schemes and potentially others regarding the specific health conditions that this breed is prone to. Certain health conditions that this breed is more prone to include hip and elbow dysplasia, cancer, eye diseases, blood disorders, bone conditions and bloat. Being aware of all this prior to getting a dog is significantly important since as an owner you'll need to be able to care for your dog in any way they require, which could mean large vet bills. In the right hands, this sizeable dog is an easy breed to train due to their high intelligence and eagerness to please their human companions. Bernese Mountain Dogs are large and athletic dogs that require at least two hours of exercise every day, which should be a combination of walks, off-lead runs, playtime, and also manual stimulation activities. As this breed is highly intelligent, it needs to be kept busy mentally as well as physically to stay happy. They have a large amount of energy and it needs to be released to prevent them from developing any bad habits or unwanted destructive behaviours. They're a very loving dog and companionship is important to them, so spending time with your bunnies on walks and playing games is a great way to keep them happy and prevent boredom. The fact that they're easy to train makes them very well suited to different canine competitions, including obedience, tracking, herding and carting. Although the Bernese is recognisable for its wonderful, thick, tricoloured coat, that does mean that they are high maintenance in regard to grooming. The Bernese coat is a double layered coat consisting of an outer long coat and a wool-like undercoat. They are recognisably tricoloured with the vast majority of their body being a black with rust and bright white markings on the chest, face, legs and tail. Although their coat is incredibly beautiful, they are very heavy shedders all year round. They shed particularly more in the spring and autumn, similar to other heavy shedding breeds like the Golden Retriever. Brushing your bernies several times in a week will aid in reducing the amount of hair you find in the house and on your clothes. Grooming your dog will regularly prevent the long coat from becoming tangled with mats that will keep, and will keep it clean from dirt. Having a bernese mountain dog means accepting the fact that you will find hair everywhere. No matter how much you brush them, the dense coat will keep on shedding. This may not be negative for many, but for several people, the amount of hair may be off-putting having a Bernese in your home. 
Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free Principles to the Perfect Puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there. Again, there'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a stunning breed with high intelligence and a loving and friendly personality towards all. However, it is important to consider both the pros and the cons to a breed before deciding if they're the one for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bernese videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show.